Okay, uh, in this video, we're gonna we're gonna try to figure out why this Lennox unit is completely dead. Uh, the outside unit's not coming on. The inside unit's not coming on. The thermostat has a blank screen. is completely dead. Okay, so. The first thing you want to do, okay, there's a few things you can check, but I'm going to go in a little bit more detail how to check a low voltage problem in this unit. Okay, you actually have a float switch over there. Um, and if you notice, this light isn't coming on, okay, either, okay. If you push this button on, uh, this light should be coming on. If it doesn't come on, that really does mean that you have an issue. Uh, with the voltage okay we have to figure out though if it's high voltage or low voltage right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to your transformer first if you notice line is high voltage and the load is going to be low voltage right so we're going to go over here okay and we're going to see over here what um, what voltage we get if you get the top over here and you check right here if you notice here you do have high voltage 123, right? Okay, so you go here too. You're supposed to have low voltage here. Okay, so it's good. Actually, you got 28 volts, right? So this is actually good, but this you're still not lighting up over here. Your switches, your door switch for your panel is good too. But if you notice over here, there's actually a fuse. Right, there's a fuse right here. And if you notice, the fuse is actually... Um, blown right so this is a Lennox unit if you look right here there is a fuse and if this fuse is blown it's a 3 amp fuse uh, it's gonna look like the systems actually dead so this little fuse will cause a big problem right so we got to put a fuse we got to go get a fuse and make this thing crank up and see what happens hopefully it doesn't blow again but this little fuse will cause a lot of problems um, we don't know why this fuse went out Sometimes it just goes. Um, so we're going to replace it and see what happens. Hopefully this machine kicks back on and nothing else is wrong with this unit, okay? A few minutes ago we made a video on this fuse blowing, okay? And uh, I'm going to show you an advanced low voltage trick how to actually fix this problem. Uh, actually, the reason why this fuse was blowing, okay? And I'm going to show you what happened over here. These are your two wires going out to the actual condensing unit outside. So if you notice, you got your yellow wire, which is for your compressor, and then this wire was over here, okay? Now, most companies or professionals, what they're going to do is they're going to replace this whole wire, okay? But there's a way to actually still crank up your unit outside without replacing um, this, this wire here, okay? So... Uh, I'm going to show you all a trick on how you can still use this wire. And what happens is in this brown wire, you got these two wires in there. It's red and white. And what happens is somewhere in this wire, okay, you have a short where they're touching. And what happens is in this low voltage wire, if for some reason these two wires touch, okay, internally, it's going to blow your fuse, okay. But I'm going to show you all a trick how you can still use this same wire without changing the whole wire. This is really good too for condominiums and buildings. Let's say you're on the first floor and your roof is on the 10th floor or 20th floor. How are you going to change this wire out? Well, guess what? There's a way that you could actually use this same wire without replacing it because sometimes if you're in a high rise building, there's nothing you can do. You're kind of screwed, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to use, you could use either or wire. You could use either or wire. You're going to, uh, the best way is to use your red wire and then the common wire, you're going to, you're going to actually cancel that one out. So you're going to do this to this wire here. Okay. You're only using one wire. Okay. To crank up your unit. And if you notice here, okay. Um, the unit's going to come on. It came on now. You could actually, uh, hear the gurgling. So it did come on. Okay. And I'm going to show you all outside um, um, what you have to do outside to make this work, okay? So let's go outside now. I'm going to show you outside how to... You're going to have to make adjustments in your attic. 
remember just use one wire okay which is going to be your red wire or you could use your white wire just make sure you put it on the yellow okay there's a yellow setting right there okay so we're going to go outside and really what i'm showing you is really advanced because most companies they don't know this and they're going to just change all the wire out right so we're going to go to the outside unit okay so now we're in the backyard and i'm going to show you what kind of wiring you're going to have to do to your condenser to make this work okay so what you're going to want to do this is your contactor okay so what we did over here is this is your two wires okay from the attic you had a red and a white so what we're going to do is you're going to use the red wire the red wire goes to one side of your contactor okay now the other side of your contactor which is this yellow wire okay that yellow wire was right over here okay so this yellow wire i took it off and what you're going to do is i'm going to show you again okay so this yellow wire okay which was right here this goes to the other side of your contactor which is right there so now instead of having this yellow wire with the white wire you're going to put this yellow wire which is the other side of your contactor to the ground of your unit okay so now instead of using literally the neutral on that bad wire you, you can actually put it on your unit okay and that's going to give you the other polarity to pull this contactor down so this one right here okay you're going to cap this off right here okay put that in the, circle that up like that and now you got the red wire on that wire and that's pretty much how you wire up this unit all you got to do is put the panels back on the unit, fire it up, and this thing will work like brand new again. All right, thanks for watching the video.